No, nah, I knew about that. I mean, I can talk about what I'm saying damn to, but <laughs> yeah. What, what were you saying damn to? We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, you know, we talked a lot about just the rebounding in the past couple of weeks, you know, 11 rebounds. Uh, I guess what was working for you on the glass tonight, you think? Effort. I think that's really it. My dad was in the crowd. He had a mad look on his face, so I was trying to make him a little more happy by rebounding the ball. I think that's really what it is. <laughs> You see him afterwards, we were like 11 or anything? When I went back to the bench like the last time before the game ended, I looked at him, he was very happy. So glad to make Pops happy. Um, look, you guys, I think, you know, shot 25% from three. I mean, just what does it say about this team that on a night when shots weren't really falling that much, you guys were still able to beat a good team? Defense, man. Whenever all five guys are out there locking up, it's, it's tough to beat us, no matter if we hit shots or not. And I think that's been what we've been hanging our hat on, especially post All-Star break, understanding the uh, sense of urgency as well as what time it is. Like, we're trying to make a run in the playoffs, and we understand every single game means a lot, especially in the West. Like, right now, if we would have had this record in the West last year, what place would we have been in? Like, third, fourth? Yeah, like, and the West is getting better. So, just got to make sure we keep it up. Uh, we've been talking all year about, you know, late game execution, clutch games. Uh, when things are going well for y'all like they did tonight, what are some of the main areas of focus? I mean, just getting Z the ball. That's <laughs> that's really what it is. I mean, he's a matchup nightmare. And whenever he's making decisions and getting to the line, kicking out the shooters, it's, it's tough for the opposing defense. And I think that's really what it is. And for him, uh, how important do you think it is just to have uh, just experience in these situations, just more just have being that guy playing in these situations, especially late in the season where all of these wins really matter? Yeah, we need them. I mean, experience is your best teacher. And, you know, we def we let one go with the OKC game. And I definitely think we make steps in the right direction with this game. And um, that's what the playoffs are going to come down to. They're going to be tight games. It's going to be slow at times. And we just got to figure a way to, you know, make it happen. Trey, what was it like watching Z and Giannis battle each other, two of the strongest, most athletic guys in the league tonight? Yeah, no, those are two physical specimens. Like, they are very special individuals. And, you know, it's really it's really cool seeing that, especially for me, like, three, four years ago, I was at, well, five years ago, I was at Rice University. And now I'm, I'm here playing against the best players in the world. Like, when you take a step back and really think about it and process it, it it's pretty cool. I, I can't lie to you. So just thankful, really. And then what was it like seeing also Zion defensively? We've been talking about it with you guys for weeks now. But you know he's guarding Giannis one second, then handling Brooke Lopez, and then switching out and late, getting Damian Lillard, making sure that he had to kick the ball. So what would you grade Giannis? I mean, what would you grade uh, Z's defense now? <laughs> hey. I've been seeing some A, I'm going to say A, I'm not going to say A plus, but I've been seeing some A effort defense from Z recently. Yeah, we can accept that. We can accept that. You guys were plus 15 in the possession battle tonight. Um, low turnover night, you got you know, after it on the offensive glass. Just, one, have you ever seen like a differential like that big, just you know, having like 15 more shots than the opponent? But two, like, how, how big is it to continue that kind of effort to get those extra possessions, and um, especially in the nice when you're not shooting well. Yeah, super important. I mean, we that's been the biggest thing we've been trying to focus on. Um, shoot around, coach challenge us to, you know, offensive rebound a lot more, get us extra possessions because we're trying to shoot more threes. And if we miss those threes, you crash with the elbows. A lot of times the ball's going to come around that area. And then also, if we don't get the rebound, we're also set up in our defense because we're already back. And so, I uh, just think that offensive rebound has been a big key to getting us more possessions and more threes. Highest percentage three is an offensive rebound spray out. So, yeah. Trey, I know every game in the NBA is tough, but what is it like when you play on a schedule with OKC, Milwaukee, you got Boston coming up? How much does that kind of prepare you for the playoffs, you feel like? Shit fun, I can't lie. <laughs> Sorry for cussing. <laughs> Sorry for cussing. Um, but that's a lot. Of, it's a lot of fun. I can't lie. It is a lot of fun. I mean, like, obviously, you want to. You love the 30-point wins because, you know, it is what it is. But you play in the NBA to compete against the best players in the world, and that's where it's the most fun. What you think when you saw Z take that charge? I was hyped. No, I was hyped. I can't lie. I don't show too much. I show emotion sometimes, but I was really hyped for Z on that one as well. Um, also, just want to give a shout-out to my mom. It's her birthday today. So if y'all are seeing this, wish my mom a happy birthday. Thank you. Don't cut that out. <laughs>